Okay, look, that was definitely not cool, I admit it. I'm sure the animal rights people would agree with you. I promise I'll make it up to you if we make it out of here. Don't you start now, too. Jonah's got me spooked out enough as it is. Let's take a look around. The sooner we find a way out of here, the better. such a fortune. What could he not do? That sort of wealth would open all the world's doors and bring a man's wildest dreams within reach. I can see that Layton's mind has turned to similar thoughts. He's had a strange look in his eyes since we left that cave. A man like Layton would be willing to die for a chance at that much money. I'm starting to wonder what else he might be willing to do for it.
I know now that Layden intends to kill me and claim Craddock's strike for himself. He keeps that axe close at hand, waiting for his moment. The gold fever is like a sickness in his mind. He's blinded by his greed and it's made him careless. He won't be expecting me to make the first move. Only one man is coming down off this mountain. And that man's gonna be as rich as a Rockefeller. Oh boy, take it easy. Look, if this is about the parachute thing, I said I was sorry. That's two I owe you. Come on, let's get out of here before that thing comes back.
been. Just when I thought this day couldn't get any worse. Hang in there, boy. We're not giving up now. There must be another way out. Nice. If we can't find a way out of this hellhole, then we'll just have to make one.